Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. Chainlink. Guys, Chainlink, Chainlink, Chainlink. Do we have a potential here to form our bottom structure if this low continues to hold and we keep adhering to this ascending support? Are we looking to retrace to $39? Does Chainlink have the potential? As a technology, 100%. This is why sometimes, guys, not, not financial advice, but if you do your own research, if you know what Chainlink is, of course, if you are invested in Chainlink, it is wise, again, to, to know what you're investing in. Not to be rude in any sort of way, just to be blunt and honest. Chainlink is amazing at what it does, okay? It's, a, it's an amazing oracle. Um, it's got a huge ecosystem. Do, do dive into it if you haven't already had a look, okay? But the tech is amazing and, and the price isn't reflecting very well on the tech right now as for many other projects in crypto. And I do think easily Chainlink, I, I, I think with ease, it would be able to get back to this, all to, uh, to, to, to the all-time highs and, and back up to these sort of prices. But for us to see that, we have a journey ahead of us. We have a long journey. There's many levels of resistance to get back above. And potentially this little cluster right here is the start. Now, let me explain why the lows potentially are in here for us and, and what we're looking to do to move forward. So as you can see from this level here, okay, Chainlink basically retraced back down to uh, on the weekly to, to previous highs back in March 2020. Okay, and, it, and it's starting to bounce off of that. Now, zooming into this point again, Okay, from this point of this correction, okay, I do think you had five impulsive waves up to this point. Uh, and from this area, you've had this large A, B, C correction, okay, and a regular A, B, C. Uh, at this point, we topped out, we put in lower highs, okay, we, we failed to break through resistance, put in that B wave high. And since then, okay, you, you, you've basically just been under a strong level of resistance and have come back down for support. Now, the C wave potentially is over here, okay, the only scenario that would confirm it isn't is if we're going through something called a Elliott wave one, two, three, four, five situation, where you've got this wave one down, you've got this wave two, you've got this large wave three. Right now you're forming a wave four, potentially if you came up to $11, for example, and we did see some sort of breakout and you got rejected, you would have to come back and lose this zero fib here. You would have to lose $5.30 and you, you basically confirming that you're getting sort of one, two, three, four, five waves down of which, you know, this five wave is just in a random point at the moment, but you would get rejection to a, to a certain area and be losing uh, the local lows. But to confirm that we would have to lose this low. Okay, it's, it's literally that simple. Right now we're adhering to support. We've got ascending support and things aren't looking too, too, too bad. Um, for, for, for some sort of foundational structural bottom here, okay? Because we've been here for a while, you know, we've been holding support and the support has been lovely. You can see from this area here, um, Chainlink's come down to this level, okay? It's come back up to the 050, okay? And this is strong resistance right now. So $9.86 is where resistance is is key, okay? Which we need to break above uh, moving forward. But you, 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 you're meeting that, coming down, you formed a higher low here. And right now you've come up, you ran into resistance, you came back down and you're looking to break out. So if we start to see Chainlink, um, potentially, I think we're on our way back to that $9.80 area. If you start to see Chainlink break out of this resistance here and, and close above this level today, let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, if you start to see Chainlink close above, I think it's $8. Um, potentially, we're looking at a, a retest, as I said, of that $9.86 because you've got this... Uh, level of support you've run into resistance you've come back you've got a higher level of support if you start to tackle above these closes at eight dollars uh, and closing above that today which is kind of bang on where we are now if we do see the close above that you are confirming and holding support you are confirming that you are looking to retest this 050 and these local highs which are our key resistance uh here for chain link moving forward but it's all about closing above this level today it's all about closing above this level so let me show you why it's important because right now we're cut we've we formed this low Okay, we're going from that low, we're retracing back up to this high. And you can see that currently speaking, uh, th this $8 area, okay, right here, which we're currently hitting right now is the 0618, okay? And that's from this low, retracing back to this high. Okay, so we've, we, we came up to a high, we've come back higher low, higher low, holding support. Right now we're looking to break out of some small double bottom pattern. If we do break out of that $8, I do think you're gonna retrace uh, back up to this 050 here at $9.80. Um, so, you know, this is basically the start of the journey where you're coiling up in this sort of ascending triangle. You're holding higher levels of support. If you start to break out of this $9.80,
okay you've got long targets okay and and basically how you measure that would be from the 050 down to the level of support of the ascending triangle when you break out if you do break out it confirms okay that all you've done is met resistance here you've come back right now you're coiling up okay and if you do start to break out you're looking to retrace back up to this high okay of which you fell from which sits at 18 dollars okay and obviously from from current price okay if you do start to see that confirmational uh breakout you're looking at 128 percent long and that's just to the one fib that's just to the one fib okay and this is the bullish scenario so if you start to break out of this ascending triangle things are looking really really bullish here for for link moving forward um and and you are looking to basically confirm that really and truly this is a low you're coming up as long as you can come back and hold support you, and, and and break out of this one fib here you're basically confirming that you, you're flipping the switch and the lows are in here and this is this is the yeah the bear market lows where you, you it's, it's maximum opportunity and as i've said in many videos fear never feels like that it, it never feels genuine it, it always feels like it's going behind your back and trying to make you disbelieve that you know that the prices are going to aren't going to go higher and they're going to go lower but again, you just have to adhere to data and structure. Right now, you're putting in higher lows along this ascending level of support and, and you've got key resistance above, yes. Okay, but you're working beautifully, okay, in waveform, beautifully. It could coil up for, for another couple of weeks before it wants to break out. It could literally be stuck between support and resistance. Now, that's, an that's another thing I wanted to get into, okay, because you've got quite a few areas of resistance. Potentially, if you do fail to close above $8 and you come back, just look for a retest of support on this, on this daily ascending trend line. Okay, because that would have to, it needs to hold. If that doesn't hold, okay, and you start to lose this trend line that we're holding here, okay, and you start to lose this trend line, it's very negative. Because what you would be doing, okay, what you're doing is coming up, okay, if you come down, fail to break out, and you lose the trend line, turn it to resistance, you're just going to retrace back down to the, the, the lows that you've came from, okay, at $5.30. Now, the negative side to this, okay, if we was to do something like that, how you'd measure it, okay, and, and where potentially we would fall to for that fifth wave I was talking about earlier, if this isn't an ABC and it's an Elliott wave theory, what you could say here is that we've got this high, okay, we're retracing to this low right now, we've come down to the 050, you can see, look, we're holding the 050 and the 0618 here on this retracement back down to this low, we're holding it, holding it um, beautifully and we're just adhering to it with, with higher lows, okay, but if you was to start um, running into resistance here, failing to break out and losing these golden ratios, these areas here, I would look for the retest back down to, to $5, okay, back down to $5. Um, and if that didn't hold and you hit your head on that, for me, potentially, that fifth wave could take you down to $3.68, um, of which ties up with this low here, uh, I'm pretty sure, which is the, yeah, the 1618 would tie up with that low. And all you'd have done is you've, you've come up here, okay, you had resistance at this point, you've broken out and you, you basically start in this retracement wave all the way back down to that area of support Okay, looking for a bounce there. At that point, if, if the markets did roll over, I do think that could potentially be Chainlink's ultimate low because around this area is, as I've said, I think this is the, yeah, the, the 1920 mark for, 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 for Chainlink, which it was struggling to break out of. You can see that was key resistance. So it wouldn't surprise me if he was to roll over to that if the market continued to the downside and then you put in your low. But right now that's not happening. It's not, it's not the data is not telling us that, that that's in front of us. Okay, right now we're adhering to, to positive market structure. We're holding ascending support, which is bullish. You're putting in higher lows. You're coiling up in some large ascending triangle. If you do get the breakout, again, you're, you're, you're running, you're looking to run back into to higher levels of resistance. Um, and and if, they, if you do do that, okay, if we do start to meet our targets, our breakout targets, so just to get that back on again, if we do start to meet our breakout tar breakout targets and we do come up to $12, say for example, and you start to break out of this resistance, okay, you break out of this one fib, the $9.50 area, okay, and if you start to come up to the target, all you have to do to confirm is come back and hold that as support. And again, you'd still be adhering to this trend line and you're basically creating larger uh, patterns over time where you're coiling up in, okay? So it's all about resistance, support and resistance, guys. Break out of the resistance, the key resistance. Look to go long. Take some profits if this does come into fruition. Look for a pullback to support on previous resistance. Hold that support, okay, and start to break out of the 1618. Again, at this time, you're looking to go long even further. And that it's just even more confirmation that the lows are in. Okay, so it's all about tackling this $9.50. Okay, if you can start to come up and tackle through that and hold support, you're looking to go long. Okay, but if not, okay, if you do start to run into this as resistance, I'm sorry, it's a bit messy, but if you do start to run into this resistance and start losing this trend line, okay, losing this trend line that we've got to support, okay, and hitting your heads on it, it just confirms you are going to retrace back down to these lows, okay, um, and it would be all about holding the, the June low, okay, so it would be a wave up, a wave down if you didn't, if you failed to break out here.
okay so that's a quick update for you today on chain link guys i hope you enjoyed today's content if you did please do like comment and subscribe until next time from chart nerd ta take care peace out